Hi, good morning Markson. My name is Lindsay Hayden. I'm your invigilator for the OET speaking session on the 6th of July 2020. How are you doing? Hi, good morning. I'm good. Thank you for asking. How about you? Well, I'm great. Can you tell me your full name for the record, please? My full name is Markson Clark. And what is your candidate number, please? My candidate number is 2637422. Thank you. And you are taking this test as a nurse. Is that correct? Yes, correct. Thank you. Can I see your ID, please? Sure. Here it is. Thank you. So let's start with warm-up questions. The warm-up questions are not assessed and are a chance for us to get used to each other's voices. We'll just talk for two to three minutes. All right. Can you describe one of the biggest health care challenges facing the world today? Infectious diseases like COVID-19 are the biggest challenge the whole world is facing today. To prevent these infectious diseases from getting spread is the biggest health care challenge. It is killing millions of people throughout the world, and still, there is no cure for it. People are dying on a large scale, especially those who could not afford the common treatment and expenses of medicine. The key factor of all these outcomes is based on a prime problem, that is an hygienic environment, and not taking safe precautions by people of this universe. So, we can help to reduce these problems by opting for hygienic measures. How can a nurse make an impact on society? The nurse can play a major role in our society. We can inspire patients to opt for cleaning habits to prevent various diseases that spread from an unhygienic environment. Nurses can also educate patients in the public about the prevention of small injuries and the importance of first aid boxes. Also can help people to become healthy and let them understand the impact of overthinking on our mental health. What qualities and skills are important for nurses? One of the most leading qualities of a nurse should be her or his caring nature. Secondly, communication skills should be good, so that nurses can better understand people alongside deliver information accurately. Giving strong attention to detail, given by physicians is another quality nurse should have. Then only a nurse can work effectively for the patient care. Despite of all these, being empathetic towards the patients and carers plays an important role. What challenges do student nurses face? Student nurses possess less practical and more theoretical knowledge. Shift timings of nursing clinical are not fixed. They vary from time to time and create problems in focusing on their schedules. Homework and assignment which they got are time-consuming, difficult, and tiring. Thus limiting themselves with reality is a major concern. If you saw medical professionals acting unethically, what would you do? In everybody's life, there comes a chance when ethical challenges drag your career and professional standards and confusion. Note that there is always a difference between an ethical activity and what you don't like. Sometimes, a person has not all the end in the end, he or she harm himself and another person. In this situation, the key step would be to gather all the facts and collect as much information as one could. Because, it is not wise to jump to a conclusion without having proper and full information. Great. Thank you very much for sharing that. So, let's move on to role play now. I'll take the part of the patients or perhaps a relative and you'll take your professional role. The purpose of the role play is to get evidence of your ability to communicate effectively with patients. Use your ability to fulfill as much of the role play as possible. Do you have any questions? No. You have up to three minutes to prepare the role play. You will start the role play after that time. I'll let you know when three minutes are up. You can ask me if there's anything you are not sure about and you can make notes on the role play card if you want to. Here's a pencil for making notes. Thank you. You can look at the card during the test, but you must return it to me at the end of the test. Please start preparing now. Thank you.
Your preparation time is over. You can now start your roleplay. Don't worry if I stop you when the time is up. Good morning. My name is Markson Clark. I am a community nurse. Am I talking to Lindsay Hayden? Good morning, nurse. Yes, I am Lindsay Hayden. Hi, Lindsay. Your GP has asked me to check on you today to make sure you are okay. All right. Please come inside. Thank you. May I know how you are coping with oxygen therapy at home? I am feeling great these days, and my breathlessness has been considerably reduced. Moreover, I feel quite happy about my condition. Okay. That's good to hear. But nurse, my throat feels a bit dry and sore, which makes me uncomfortable. Oh, I understand your feeling. Try not to worry. I am here to help you. Thank you, nurse. First of all, I would like to inform you that the dryness and sore feeling that you experience in your throat is very common for people who take supplementary oxygen. Oh, is it? Yes, Linsa. This is nothing but just because of the drying of mucosa in your respiratory tract. Is it clear for you? Yes, I understand. But is there any possible solution for this? Surely there is. These sorts of problems can easily be corrected by increasing the fluid intake. You should always try to be hydrated. Is it okay for you? Yes, nurse. I am ready to follow your guidelines. Great to hear that. By the way, Miss Linsa, I would like to know more details about your condition. So, can I ask you a few more questions, please? Definitely, you may please. Thank you for your consent, Linsa. Well, do you have any other side effects, such as headaches or feeling confused? No, nurse. I am completely all right. I don't have any kind of headaches or confusion. I am glad to know that. And is there anything that bothers you? Yes. Unfortunately, sometimes I feel uncomfortable with the mask, and the skin underneath feels irritated. I realize your concerns, Linsa. Certainly. I can suggest some remedies for your condition. Please pay attention to me. Sure, I will. You may please. That's great. I recommend you to apply moisturizing cream before wearing the mask or whenever you feel your skin dry. This will help you to solve the problem to a greater extent. All right, I will give it a try. Fine. And another option to stay away from your skin irritation is to adopt the use of nasal prongs. Instead of face masks, a nasal prong. Could you please explain it to me better? Sure, I am on to it. Nasal prongs are the two tubes which are placed in the nostrils directly, and it can deliver oxygen straight to your nose. Okay, I understand that. But nurse, I think it is better. I can try with the moisturizer first. Great choice. Thank you for your suggestion, nurse. Miss Linza. For therapeutic purposes, is it okay to ask you a personal question? Yes, it's fine. You may please. Have you stopped smoking? Yes, I have stopped my smoking habit a year ago. I appreciate your decision, Miss Linsa. It is essential to stop smoking habits for your condition. Thank you, nurse. If you don't mind, can you please suggest some sleeping tablets? I have trouble sleeping, and some of the days. I take pills from my husband, Miss Linsa. I can understand your trouble. However, I won't suggest you take a sleeping tablet, as it may cause slow breathing, and it can even deteriorate your condition. Oh, I see. Yes, Linsa. So it is better to initiate with some other methods for sleeplessness. Don't worry. I will recommend some techniques to help you in this situation. That will be of great help, nurse. All right. Some of the methods you can adopt are as follows. Firstly, you can drink a glass of warm water before you go to bed. Okay. If you avoid taking naps during daytimes, it will be much better. All right. Other methods involve practicing yoga and meditation, which will make you relax. And even you can follow a regular sleeping pattern. You will get a sound sleep. Okay, nurse. I accept all your advice, and I will try to follow them from today. Thank you for accepting my words. Is there anything else that I need to address? No, nurse. That's all I have. Great. 
If you have any further queries, please feel free to contact our team. Get well soon, Linsa. Sure, nurse. Thank you. That is the end of your OIT speaking role play. All the best. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please, like this video and encourage us. Subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Kindly comment your suggestions and help us do better.